guys, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, just a quick video for you today. Uh, I got the Crucial BX500 960 gig 3D NAND SATA 2.5 inch internal SSD mounted in my tower now. Um, and I wanted to do a benchmark uh, test on it uh, just to see the comparison between my old drive, which is an A Data SU800 120 gig SSD. Um, it is also 3D NAND uh, flash for high reliability and durability. Um, that is the newest thing out there now, so why not, right? Um, anyway, I did a benchmark test on the 120 drive and uh, before I took it out of the tower and I'm going to do a test on the Crucial right now and what I use uh, for that testing is this program right here Crystal Disk Mark 7.0.0 uh, times 64 because it's a 64-bit operating system and I am testing in real time so it is not setting up a profile. It's not setting up, oh, this is what it could do or this is what it should be doing. This is testing the actual drive itself. And I used this program on the 120 and I'll pop up the results of that one uh, shortly. But uh, we're basically testing the read ability and the write ability on this drive, this new one. Um, and this program here is free to download you uh, just uh, go and uh, do a google search and you can find but it's got to be together like this crystal disc mark um, just like this so you can find it so what we're going to do is i'm going to press this all button and it's going to start running the series of read and write tests randomly and we'll see what the numbers are on this new drive I've got installed. And uh, after it's done, it's testing, I will uh, pop up the results from the 120 gig. Wow, already. 500.39 read. Oh, going up still. <laughs> um, I have 7% of this drive used. As you can see, it's the C drive. I got 7% used, 66 gigs used out of the 894 that it registers. Uh, it is a 960 gig drive, but by the time you get it formatted and operating system and my programs are on it, and yeah, it chews some space. So <laughs> usable space is now 894 gig. Uh, but I've only just cracked the surface on this one. My 120 gig uh, was choked for the most part. I usually had between 30 and 40 gigs available to me at any point in time. And uh, if you know anything about programs, they've got to run from C um, drive. And the more space you can give them to function, the better, uh, usually. So... Uh, the other drive was struggling. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And I was struggling because it would be like, oh, constantly running out of space. And I'd ho offload stuff to my dump drives that I've got on this machine as well. I've got two other separate mechanical drives that are storage or dump drives, right? Um, you'll see them up here on the corner is dump drive one and two. <laughs> They're both, uh, Terra drives and, uh, I've got them pretty full too, but well, they're about halfway. I, I'm using both of these actually to sort my stuff and get rid of what I can. So I'll, I'll go through dump drive one and just, yes, no, keep it, don't. If I keep it, I put it on dump drive two, <laughs> you know. So, uh, okay, the test is still running. It is, oh, there it is gone back to all which means it's done its test and the read uh, measurement is 501.15 uh, megabits per second 
Um, right is 421.04. Okay. Now, if I pop up the screenshot I took of my 120 results, you can see it here. I'll just blow it up a little so you can see. Um, side by side, look at this. The 120 gig, 63% uh, stuffed, okay? I, <laughs> I had 75 gig used out of the 118. Like I said, it's about 30 to 40 gigs available to me. <laughs> So that was pretty choked, um, but it's 492.76 read, um, 185.39 write. Look at that write speed jump. Look at this. This this is whoa, <laughs> blowing my mind. Um, I'm mostly concerned with the top two numbers, but if you want to delve right into it, there is all kinds of ways to test things. And as I said, you can test any of the drives installed. Um, so it'd be interesting maybe to see the differences here. Um, I have 45% of this drive. I have 17% of this one, 7% of my new one. So, um, anyway, that is the results and I will, uh, pop these up side by side at the end of this video. If you want to take a little closer look, you can pause the video and just actually look at the numbers for a bit longer if you'd like. But I am really impressed with this drive so far. I'm liking it. Uh, it was easy to install and we used a program called Macrium Reflect. M-A-C-R-I-U-M uh, space R-E-F-L-E-C-T. Okay, Reflect, Macrium Reflect. And it is also a free program for um, drive cloning back up, that kind of thing. And what it did was it copied my 120 gig drive exactly. Like all my programs, everything went across. Even my Windows license code went across, no problems. I have run the new drive. I've functioned all my programs and things. They all work fine. Nothing's missing. And it was easily done. Uh, if you want to see how to work with Macrium Reflect, please check out my husband's YouTube channel here. It's Kevy's RC and Music. I'll put a link in the description box. And uh, he has a video up there on how to use Macrium Reflect. And he'll walk you through it and show you just how, to, how easy it is to set it up. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks so much. Bye for now.